What the? Moment. Take the center back. Uh -huh. You get all the hairs. Now don't just do that. Right. Okay, or you end up with your bun down here. You want the bun up here. Up the top. So take the hairs and pull them straight up for the root. Yep. So you need to get them straight up from wherever they are. And this bottom bit is the bit you need to do that before and then you don't bother with the other one. This bit has to be straight up. Okay. And once you get it up there. <laughs> okay. Yep. Now, do you know how to plot? Uh -huh. okay. You do a threesome plot. Try and get all the hair. That's all right. I'm just starting to I plot up the way. That's how I get the money. Once so you get up there, you can start and do just over the top and below. Over the top, just like that. So maybe I'll do a couple of ones up the way and then start coming back. Start coming back. Although a lot of folk do it that up and over that way, but I'm taking it around the back. Right. But a lot of folk will bring, bring it forward, forward the way. way. Right. So yeah. it's still I'm still planting the same way, but I'm not having my hands up there. I'm just going. Yeah. Okay. Right. I see. Back now, when you get to this stage, don't be afraid to take, if you've got one thicker than another, just take a wee bit here and put it with another one. Yep. And just so that, see I don't have much hair there so I'm going to pinch some to try and get them all up so that I we'll, we'll run out of hair at the same time. This also needs more than hmm? need more than Try to remember the last time it was warm, wasn't it that long? We get them tested all the time for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah maybe it's due round, but then they have to take them. Take that up. Yep. Walk that round. Right. Hey, what we're all. Once you wrap it round, just take it and try and start and roll it up. Okay? Yep. Keep it tight as you can. And you can just about tuck it in. You yep. see that bit there? Yep. If you take that up and over. Tight. And the same with that, up and over. Mm -hmm. If I had knit needles, I'd stick it down there and that would hold that in place. Right. I don't have a pen. You don't have a pen and a pencil? No. I get one in the car, possibly. Right. No. No, no matter. No matter. I'll, I'll, I'll just pretend my finger's in that needle. Now, mm -hmm. because my finger's in there, could you take that string and cross it over and pull it tight? Cross it to them underneath each other. Pull it tight. Tight as you can. Up the top, put a knot in it. Now, once and again. And whoa, whoa, whoa! I just okay. said put a knot in it, I said. I said pull it. <laughs> Take it up a bit. Slacken it. Now, hold the ends out. Now, that's, now put this through there again. Through here? No, through there. And okay. Now, tight as you can. Now, because you've done that, put a double thing through, that shouldn't have slackened. Right, so it should stay. Yeah. If that was only one, it would slacken. Right, it would come away. But you really need to pull that tight. Now, 
Now it's not really high enough, but it's up off the bottom, which is where I want it to be. So we basically want it as high up as you can get well, up to? in the middle. Right. Slightly you know, that's too high, but... Yep. You know, I just usually tie it in a knot. And then if you've got surplus, sur and you're best doing it with a lace. Because you can untie a lace. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then your bow... Sorry. Your bow that 